Hey everyone, welcome back to Jason Explains Things. I've got an awesome shop improvement video for you today. What do you guys think about air conditioning? Always work in flip-flops. It's working, it's working. I have been busy out here in the shop getting ready for this project today. I've been doing some painting. I even was able to hang some stuff on the wall for the first time since moving here. Yay, clock! <laughs> anyway, this is the Mr. Cool DIY heat pump and air conditioner kit. And this is the 18K size. They have different sizes for different uh, sizes of shops uh, for heating and cooling. This kit, really, really cool. Kind of not, not cheap, but, but thorough. It comes with everything you're gonna need to install this yourself. You will not have to hire an HVAC person to come out and charge the refrigerant lines for you. There are actually two things you are gonna have to buy separately. Um, one is optional. First one, this ductless air hide align kit will just kind of make the lines look more tidy as they go along the wall. Um, the kit does not include any of the electrical connection stuff that you're going to need. I will go over all of that um, briefly, and I, so stay tuned for that. Let's go ahead and get started by unpacking everything and getting it all laid out. This is the uh, indoor unit that will go on the wall on the inside. Outdoor unit. Template for mounting it on the wall. Ah, refrigerant lines. All right, well that's everything accounted for out of all three boxes. Uh, it's a lot of parts, a lot of opportunities to screw up, but we're not gonna screw up because we know what we're doing. Or at least we have instructions, so. All right, let's get started. First step in installation is you're gonna to want to install your mounting plate for the indoor portion of your heat pump. Your kit comes with this very, very handy, easy to understand template, wall template. What it has is mounting points so you can kind of line up your studs uh, in the wall. And then also it has a perfectly spaced place where you're gonna be using uh, your three and a half inch hole saw to drill your hole for the lines. You're gonna want a stud finder to make sure you know where your studs are in the wall. Also, try not to drop your stud finder. Oops. There are a couple things to keep in mind when you're mounting this and picking exactly where to put it on the wall. First off, read your instructions because they come with a lot of helpful information. If your ceilings are nine feet tall or greater like they are here in my shop, you want to mount your indoor unit on the wall 90 inches or so from the floor. You're gonna want a minimum distance from the floor, from, from the indoor unit on the wall to the ceiling of at least six inches. All right, you've got your template in the right place. Go ahead and use a screwdriver or a hole punch or whatever you have on hand to mark your holes. I also used a Sharpie to label the holes whether I'm going into a stud, whether that's the place where I'm gonna use the hole saw to drill the, the uh, hole to the, for the lines, or if I need to use a drywall anchor. Cool, well everything is ready to go. Let's th get this sucker on the wall and uh, drill the hole for the lines. I definitely didn't already drill this hole for the, uh, for the pilot hole for the uh, hole saw to, for the refrigerant lines. So what you use, what, that I haven't used yet, <laughs> is a long drill bit. I kinda, I used a little level to make sure that I was nice and straight here. And then I went through, and I drilled a hole. Oh, it's super easy to drill that hole for some reason. Uh, break out your three and a half inch hole saw of choice. This one from Lennox. I like the Lennox ones, they work really great and uh, put a new window in your wall. All right, full part two. Whoa, there we go. Okay, we got our wall sleeve here nice and trimmed flush to the side of the wall. So something annoying has happened. Um, I'm missing the piece, there's a cap 
that goes right here. I double, triple, quadruple checked my packaging. I'm pretty sure that it is not in there and that they forgot to include this part. So what I'm gonna have a uh, plastic uh, cover for the refrigerant lines, the power and everything, uh, which the first piece that comes with that is this, which is gonna go right here. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna be using some um, exterior flashing tape that I'm gonna put in here and then I will install the cover and we can keep going. Not the end of the world, sometimes this happens, but uh, flashing tape should make it no problem at all. It's time to get the indoor unit up on the wall and uh, then we're all done inside. Hey! I thought I was gonna drop it there for a little bit. <laughs> All right, cool. Time to install the uh, rest of the line. Squidgy squidgers. There we go. Next thing you want to do is attach your pre-charged refrigerant lines to the lines coming from the indoor unit and uh, yeah, seal them up. Next thing we got to go do is get some soapy water and a spray bottle. And if you see any bubbles, that means you got leaks. So hopefully we don't have that. Okay, well, time to install our outdoor unit. Uh, last thing before we get to that, I'm just gonna cut the, uh, the drain hose here. Yeah, right. There. Straight down. All right, time to mount our outdoor unit in place. Hey, thanks for coming to help, Chris. You're welcome. <laughs> oh boy. Um, also, if you're interested in uh, how I did this concrete pad, head on over to Jason Explains Things on Instagram, where I did a whole video about doing this concrete pad. So, there you go. All right, next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna measure so we kinda center this thing in place, and then I'm gonna mark where we're gonna drill some anchor holes. Okay, now with our unit mounted in place, it's time to attach our refrigerant lines right here. Hmm? Struggle face. Ugh, it's so hard! Okay. All right, with everything connected, you use your supplied Allen key, open these up, and uh, check for leaks. Pretty good. Okay, putting our cover back on. We, uh, they recommend that you wrap uh, this in the uh, UV, for UV protection after this. Essentially, the HVAC portion of our install is totally done. Let's move on to electrical. Hey, looking pretty good, if I do say so myself. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and do a first run test. Everything is just now hooked up. I'm gonna talk about the wiring a little bit, the electrical portion of this. Uh, I'm not gonna show exactly how to do it because frankly, every time a person like me who's not an electrician shows how to wire something on YouTube, it just invites too much hate. So what I will tell you is that your installation guide will tell you everything you need to know about installing and hooking up the electrical yourself. If you don't feel comfortable doing it, by all means don't. Have uh, an electrician come out and do this part for you. You've already saved yourself so much money. I did have an electrician help me do all this. All right, well let's go turn this thing on for the first time. Here it run. Oh, I, I, 
saw it. And, oh yeah. Cold air is starting to blow into my face. We got, we got the, uh, we got the temperature right there. It's already cold. It's like, it's only been on for uh, maybe a minute. And it's got, it's gotten pretty darn cold. That is awesome. Hey, that's it for today's episode. Thank you all very much for watching. Go ahead and follow Jason Explains Things also on Instagram and Facebook if you want to see that video about how I made the concrete pad for this project. Also, please like this video, comment, share it, subscribe, turn on notifications so you actually see when I put up a video. Anyway, until next time, don't forget to do it yourself. All right, see you next time. Also. By the way, lots of other cool videos coming up very soon, including projects about shop improvement, also uh, videos being shot in the shop, like motorcycle, mini bike stuff coming up, uh, lawn renovation stuff for 2020, lots of other things. Okay, now I'm done. <laughs> Until next time, don't forget to do it yourself. That's my new, you like this tagline? I think it's okay. It is what it is, right? All right, bye. I'm leaving. I'm leaving wearing my microphone. Bye. Can you still hear me? Click on a video and watch it.